Hello everyone, my name is Master Summer and welcome back to more Let's Play Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Starters. Last time we started up here in uh, Barrel Volcano, which I still say I think the music here is probably better than the Force Maze by a long shot. And here we have a pretty annoying room actually. <clears throat> Flame's still lovely. What I want to be, what I always want to be hit at, hit by. Wow, that didn't. Oh my god, that those that weapon is so overpowered. The lazy shell. Once again, if I can kill this guy, that would be really. Welcome. Yes, I can. Anyways. Fall in lava, not surprised. This room's annoying because you have to um, do some platform hopping. And this is also, I believe, the first room where you are in the... Actually, correction, it is one of the uh, one of the other times that kind of uh, mess with my head a little bit whenever I first play this game. Because when I first played this game, I played it on a ROM, and I had my Y button set to, my emul to the tab key, which was my emulator's... Uh, like speed up key so I figured there wasn't really um, much I would have needed the to use and I didn't know that there was actually a run feature in the game at all by holding it down so uh, yeah whenever I got to this room here I felt pretty confused can I actually do this yes okay sweet I got to this room here and I got really confused because I didn't know I was actually supposed to run to make some of these jumps but whatever. Um, red flashing light in a bunch of these guys probably doesn't mean anything good. Here we go. Meet Sar Dragon, the boss of the Barrel Volcano. He's a pretty typical guy, if you could expect that. He has a lot of fire-based attacks. If you have any pure water, souls are godsends to have during this fight because they do a lot of damage to this guy. If not, then you could just use Snowy. Snowy does a lot of damage as well. So yeah. Um, I think our, I think I was gonna say trying to say something a few um videos back about um. About, uh, around the time just before I finished off Valentina, I was going to say an announcement. But, um, I got kind of interrupted and haven't spoken of it since. Uh, I am officially out of school now, so I'm on the, uh, I'm on summer vacation now, and I'm on summer until sometime in September. I don't know if I mentioned that or not, but yeah, uploads are going to be... Pretty much daily unless oh Iron Maiden that is awesome seriously he has an attack called Iron Maiden that is quick that is pretty kick-ass you know run to the hills run for your lives should actually be attacking all those uh, orbs with snowy not a uh, ultra jump Yeah, I saw that coming. I figured those things would all be able to be used for some sort of big, big mega attack. Yeah, cause that does a lot more, a bit more damage than uh, the other thing. Snowy's more effective than uh, the other thing is anyway. Yeah, that did a lot more damage. Uh, jeez. Flame wall. Star Dragon's not too tough. He has... Um... Really, he isn't that tough, but, um... He has something kind of... Uh, unexpected, like, about halfway through the fight. I'm actually kind of surprised it hasn't come up yet. I don't know how much health this guy has. Run to the hill. 
Run for your lives. And uh, looks like we took him out. Or maybe not. So yeah, Zombone. I'm trying to remember if Zombone has like any other different weakness or not. I think he yeah, he updates his attack roster a lot more to have like rock based attacks and um, I don't know. Yeah, oh wow, that is Peach just did 61 damage to him. God damn, I'm gonna try super jump because that usually works on rock enemies. No regular attacks were doing more than that. Yeah, this guy. I guess just attack him with your uh um physical attacks is the best way I can recommend here, and oh, of course. No, come back. Maybe having Gino for this fight would have probably helped, but I don't know. Um, yeah, I'll attack. If he attacks Mario, I'm screwed, but oh well, I can just recover him with a Toad Soul. Yeah, he's using. Oh, what? no, he decides to attack Mallow instead. Why? I have no idea. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry there's not much to say, but generally once a boss like gets this kind of a point here, they really don't have that much left that's go that goes for them, and... What? What? Mario would... Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Thankfully, Comeback takes, like, next to no, uh... FPUs. The time for it, it's still fully, uh, fully heals. And there we extinguish the Star Dragon for good. 50 experience points, Bowser goes to level 17. Um. Way to drop my, uh, gear mode again almost. Let me see now. So we got him on level 8, so um. 16, 17. Yeah, special, I guess. <clears throat> For beating Star Dragon, we see a bridge. And fall in lava again! Um. I can't tell how long it's been since we fought Star Dragon, but. Check it out! Look at what we got! It's another one. It's one another one of the stars. Seems like ages since we got one of these. What? What? We got the star. We're amazing. We're unbeatable. We're gorgeous. Better leave that, chumps. What was all that about? I don't know who those Axum peoples were, but whatever. We're gonna hunt them down on the next Mario RPG, though, because, yeah, we kind of don't have that much time left. Oh, well, yeah, we do, but I don't know. I just don't really like having two boss fights in the same video, and not for spoilers, but I'm sure you can see where this is leading off to. So I'll see you guys then.